Good morning, this is Sacred Spiritual Healer. Anyone that wants a private reading can contact me at sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. Anyone needing any coaching for the journey, any inner child healing, you can also see the link and uh, information in the below. Okay, we're going to get started for the collective wave of the twin flame journey, sacred journey. We call it forth the spirits. You are the leader. You're in your power. You're in your knowledge. This always reminds me more like a throne. So you're in your high priestess mode, following the spiritual messages. Your higher self. You're grounded. It's an earth energy. You're the king of the forest, and you're leading the pack. So in this message, you're still the leader. You haven't disconnected yet. You're the crow. Focusing on your mission. Focusing on your spiritual connection. Your uh, divine counterpart. Trying to bring him out of the dark into the light. It's an air energy. So you feel light. You feel connected to your higher self. You're mirroring one another. My spirit says this is supposed to be upside down. So the owl, for the masculine ones, they're not using their intuition today. They're they're seeing with their eyes. They need to be grounded, but yet they're too much in the ether, too much in the air. They need to come down to 3D. They're surrounded by the spirits guiding them, giving them the knowledge because they need to, it was this way, so they need to be in this energy. But perhaps they feel things are mixed up. We are leaving the, uh, with the new moon. We're leaving the uh, Libra season and going into the Pisces. I'll check. But they have, are the Phoenix. They're the rising Phoenix. So perhaps they're staying in this energy. Um, they have risen. They're in their light. That this is the ethers. So they feel their power. Now they just have to come back down and be a little more grounded. They're still hiding. Um, things still keeping to the shadows side. Um, some still have their mask. 
Spirit give us the true and precise messages for the collective divine feminines and divine masculines on this journey. I call in my divine masculine spirit and higher self to speak for the divine masculines of this collective. And my higher self and spirit will speak for the divine feminines. On the bottom, when I split the card back, you get the sun card and the high priestess. That's an awesome card. You're doing your work. You're doing the inner healing. You're studying the signs behind the journey. And you have the sun card spinning your own, um, your own goal, being in, perhaps being in your mission, being self-employed, um, getting out of the matrix. You need the divine feminine spirit, holy spirit, holy spirit. This is past, present, future, and overall energy. Four cards for the divine feminine spirit. Three percent messages for divine feminine on this card. The woman. You're manifesting feminines, awesome job. Let's see which ones were first. These two. Vacation. Give me a second. It's a 20 card, so I'll break it down to a 2. You're struggling, uh, Divine Feminines, you're struggling with the uproot, your old belief systems are uprooted and you're struggling with uh, perhaps trusting or with um, your devil energies perhaps, something that's going on in the relationship, you're struggling with this, so you're surrounding it to the Divine Source. Um, you feel the heat of this um, connection. You feel like you can't take the heat anymore, so you're surrendering for divine guidance. Recently, you had the three swords broken heart with the flame here and the flames here. Um, it's um, the energy is burning up inside you. You have a lot of heartache, piercing pain. Perhaps you just found out about this or you're struggling with it as it's ongoing. Communication going forward is rapid communication. Eight of Wands. Two of Swords, you're protecting the Twin Flame um, connection. Um, you know that the karmic's there. But you're ignoring it. Good job. You're ready to cut things out that no longer serve you to protect this connection. Um, death card is here to um, get rid of the things that don't serve you, to cut out the things that no longer serve you, your old self, the uh, shadow self of the moon.
you're going within because of the death card here. Um, you're trusting. You're um, sur you have already surrendered, even though you have recently had these pains, and you're protecting the uh, connection. The death card come in to get rid of the things that no longer serve you. You're currently um, for of swords energy. You're meditating. You're healing yourself. You're going within. Um, staying close to the flame connection. You have your spirit guides surrounding you, and you've marked your territory with the wands. You know that uh, two of cups that uh, you are nurturing one another at this time. Even though you've learned this, you've gone within here to heal and to forgive so that you can come back together and nurture each other. The three-party situation is no longer. That's why you found out about it. Or once you found out about it, it's no longer a thing. He's ignoring them. The other things that took them from you, they are, he's now ignoring them. But you do see the twin dolphins in the back playing joyfully just as your inner children or inner child with his inner child play uh, in the 5D. You're also studying the science together. You're nurturing each other. You're both paying attention to the fine source that's giving you the lessons while you build your pentacles and prepare for this, ignoring things um, that are um, on the side trying to uh, take from your blessings. And justice has come in. It's going to balance things, um, both dark and light. And you have your page of pentacles. You know that he is working. He's paying attention to you. He's focusing on you and the journey. He's looking forward. He's looking ahead. He knows uh, that you're his loyal companion. And he's um, in the science of the journey, ready to bring you a gift. I'm going to move some of these over so that uh, we can clarify them after we do the, the masculines. So overall, you're going to have some towers or your treasures going on this week, especially today, since this was really a reading for today. Um, but of course, it carries on. So you can be focused and ready to uh, go within and do the healing and forgiveness that will need to be done. But, uh, you need to truly forgive, truly forgive yourself, truly forgive him. Um, in order to move forward. In other words, it'll remain a block. Don't just ignore the situation, but actually have true unconditional love, true unconditional uh, forgiveness. And remember that things that did happen were divinely guided so that they would trip him, so that he would have to come out of that situation, and that he, or whomever, gender, again, is non-specific. But it's divinely guided to happen, so it triggers you to, so that the both of you can move forward together in this journey. Divine Masculine, um, bring forth the messages for the Divine Masculine to this collective way, please, in the energy for today, and what they need to know, what does the collective Masculine need to know? Three of Wands for the masculines for today. Um, they they know that they have to make a choice. They know to move forward. They have to make a choice, and that they are focusing on the divine guidance. But they have, don't have their hand on any single one. So for today, the first energy up is even though you they know you know about this three-party situation, they're not choosing as of today. Judgment's going to come in and make that call for them. That Judgment is going to separate this, make it knowledge to you so that you can, the feminine, so that 
it's forced forward. They do know that you're their empress, that you're birthing their new beginning, that you are there to har help them harvest everything they could ever want. They know that right now you're in a queen of wands stance because you're finding out about this three-party situation, so you're pretty, the feminines are pretty good. I don't know about it. So, there you go. You wanted to uh, come together as a two of cups and pour your cups together into one cup. Now they're not sure if you're going to accept the cup because they feel you're moving forward, feminines, six of swords. Um, you feel stabbed, the feminine feels stabbed in the back of the sword is up over her and she's moving forward. She's alone in this boat. She's in her emotions because the water here. Spirit and trusting in seven pentacles. You've already uh, been working on your pentacles, feminines. You are ready to bring in your harvest. Your basket still feels empty because of you knowing this situation. Regarding the Three of Swords situation, making it Five of Wands. Everyone's throwing everybody else under the bus pretty much in this situation, denying lies. And I see this as more than one. Uh, the three party situation might be your masculine with three other people, because I see many here fighting about it. Message perhaps from your spirit guides, judgment coming in to make this right, to help you move forward, knowing and trusting in the journey, trusting in your connection to the death and its clarified death. Death cards here, making you two of swords, trying to make a decision, you're blinded to this, um, you don't want to see the truth right now. That's why you're going in. Okay. Clarify the four of swords. You're going to take the leap forward, trusting in this journey, trusting that spirit will take care of the situation. And well done because they will. 
you'll remove that situation so that you can move forward in your journey so you can become a mission and heal raising the vibration of the earth so two of cups you know uh, this is a, recently you went you felt stuck uh, but you put yourself there um, so you could contemplate knowing that all you have to do is stand up and walk out of the swords but this is upside down so you've done this already you've come out of the other sort of situation when you went in to meditate coming out as the fullest journey I'm actually going to put that I'll put it there alright so the two of cups it's a new moon new energy the things that were hid in the shadows are coming to light so you have the wheel of fortune you're going to move forward the wheel wants to turn um, so continue uh, going and doing the inner child healing you will two of wands you have two paths you can walk away or you can continue on this journey spirit will protect you on each either but know that you're going to come back to this person if you decide to walk away it'll be it's written in the stars it's going to happen you will come together so if you choose a different path now you'll have to come back to this to continue spirit is guiding her encouraging you your spirit guides are encouraging you to choose the correct path they are showing you the path to stay on mission and you have the queen of wands um, in reverse the flames are up um, the twin flames you are kind of um, you don't feel like the queen of wands currently because you want fast action but you're feeling like this connection isn't coming together as one but um, the next one is the uh, page of cups uh, to clarify this is the three party situation he's ignoring it he's uh, trusting in the uh, divine he knows the connection he might not realize that it's a twin flame journey but he knows there's a connection he knows that your souls are important to one another I'm not going to call it a soulmate situation because the, this journey is totally different than just a soulmate it's much stronger it's divinely guided uh, most soulmate situations are really just karmic lessons waiting to be had you know they draw you closer together so that you learn lessons from them three of pentacles you're studying trusting the divine for lessons regarding the situation that you really want to walk away from you feel like you've lost everything even though there are two cups still here and you're ready to move forward sorry some of you may want to move forward but some of you are ready to move forward on the journey not turning your back some are turning their back some are choosing that wrong path okay justice justice is coming in by the divine they're going to balance things both dark and light page of pentacles all right what's this pentacles what's this gift he's bringing in okay spirit says flip it over he is your king of cups he has his cup of love um, ready to offer he's very relaxed about it he knows that you're uh, his true partner his divinely counterpart divine counterpart um, and so he's coming forward with a gift for you because he wants to offer you his cup of love and he's coming in uh, fast rearing with the knight of cups here um, he went from a king to a knight perhaps a little uh, not sure still maybe he's just a little in um, not quite confident as confident as he is in his own mind like he really knows he's confident as a king knowing what he needs to do but he's coming in as a knight with a little bit of second guessing himself um, so his face is covered even though he's showing his um, cup is full of love all right let's uh, clarify the masculines I'm going to push these up here a little bit okay clarify the three wands why, are, why isn't he holding one of the wands why hasn't he made the decision why is he waiting for judgment and justice to do it for him the divine masculine bring forth the message for the divine masculine in this collective watch the three wands clarify the three wands there okay 
Okay. He feels like he's the king of swords. Not still not in his truth, so still not sure he is mag. He knows you're his queen of pentacles. And you're the one he wants. He's manifesting this. He's working. He knows he has a little of everything. And he knows he has all the tools within himself. He's divinely guided. He knows that this connection is divinely guided. He just needs to choose which one. The one that's more fun, maybe a soulmate connection, one that uh, he felt close to and had a long time with, or the, you, because he knows that you're the divine counterpart. What's the judgment about? There? What's the judgment about? Yep. Alright, hang on. I'm being told to change decks. These look the same. Which works on me? Okay, what's the judgment about spirit? We know it's about the free party situation. He's going to make the decision. He's going to be manifesting that. So, judgment is doing what? Judgment is going to bring you your happily hour after your ten of cups. He wants to bring her the ten of cups because he knows she's the empress. She's the one that he wants to have that family with. She's the one that he wants to have the happily ever after with. He feels he messed up. He knows he messed up. He wants to move forward with the chariot here. They're both focused straight ahead. They know where they're headed directly to his nine of pentacles because she, he thinks she's beautiful. Um, the butterflies here show the growth. And she's focused on him. Even though uh, she's also surrounded by many pentacles, she's done the work. She's the leader, and he sees this. He sees her for the beauty. He sees her as the hardworking um, one that's leading this journey. Um, he know she knows, or he knows rather, that he's messed up regarding his uh, devil energy. His a uh, bad habit of collecting women. <laughs> um, some judgment's coming in to show him, no, you're going to focus on the Queen of Wands, even if she is pissed off. Basically, sorry. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Sorry for Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands doing here? Why is she upset? Because she really wants, she is upset. She really wants to just move forward at this point and take her pain with her. She doesn't want to get rid of the six of swords. So she's taking her pain and um, moving forward. She needs to go do inner, this person needs, this isn't for everyone. This is uh, a few that are still holding on to the hurt. You need to go into your inner child, heal those old wounds. When you first felt that same hurt or when someone did the same thing to you, um, there's a pattern that you need to break. Not saying that this was your fault, but we uh, sometimes draw uh, repetitive situations until we learn how to forgive, how to move forward the right way. And you can't just turn your back on the situation and go. You need to do the healing and face it. decision to be made. Don't be blinded by it. Don't just close your eyes. Come out of that situation so you can celebrate and be celebrate uh, together. He wants to celebrate. He wants you to come back. He wants to happily. Ever after he wants to offer you a Okay. This one was first. Last. First. He's been working on his pentacles. He wants equal give and take, and he's willing to do the work. He knows the connection is uh, that's one soul split to two. That uh, you both are mirroring one another. Sorry, something got on that one. This is my oldest deck, I think. Uh, 
hates us so as he wants to be in his truth it is still down but he's going to bring in truth and communication to you regarding the situation so you can move forward so we can be your king of swords mind you the sword is still down He really doesn't want to come forth with the truth, does he? Uh, page of Pentacles, yeah. He's uh, going back down from a knight to a page, bringing in a small gift to you. He knows you're the most beautiful thing he's ever met. Well, not thing, but you know. burden he wants to help you put down not to be burdened so he's taking the load from you because here you're, you're trying to move away but he's walking this way away from you he wants to carry the burden off you take the burden from you and offer you the face of pentacles he doesn't want either of you to be out in the cold and you're not because he's uh, you're holding on to where was it up here? You were fighting for this union. You were, you went took that leap of faith. So he knows you're not out in the cold, and he doesn't want to be in the cold. So it's reversed. He knows you're the Queen of Cups. He has built up for Ten of Pentacles. This isn't the Happy Ever After card. This is, but by having the Ten here and Ten here, that's awesome. And the High Priestess, you're coming in as the High Priestess. And he knows you are. He know, just loves to watch you um, from afar because he knows you're a high priestess, which intimidates him, which is why he goes, keeps going from a king to a to bring in that uh, offer so he's in the hangman mode thinking how can he get um, bring you this cup of love that you will accept and not leave the journey they need to apologize right strength he's trying to have the strength to come forward Strength. Is he going to come forward this week? Is he coming forward this week? Is he going to apologize? Knight of Wands. Communication, but his mask is still down. On the bottom, we have the moon. Maybe by the new moon, it'll come forward. Let me collect up these. This was last. that you're already um, holding up um, to the situation and that you have your own pentacles and you surround yourself with the king of cups he still wants to come in and offer you that as your king I think you have um, the queen of cups in there too so that's a divine counterpart Four of Pentacles. He wants stability. He wants equal, stable. Wheel of Fortune. He wants the wheel wants to turn forward and make this Four of Pentacles into that Ten of Pentacles again. The Empress. You are um, divinely guiding. You are the leader. You're birthing new ideas. You're birthing the connection. 
you're in green, so your heart chakra is open. Although you're, you're focusing on the test of time. Don't know where that came from. Four of Swords. He is still... He's coming out of the hangman mode, but still needing to rest uh, so that he can reach for his sword of truth. He doesn't want to be fighting regarding the Five of Wands situation. He wants to turn away from that and come forward with communication, fast movement to the Queen of Wands. Okay. When is he going to bring this about, right? When is he going to apologize? No apology necessary, Spirit said. It was a divinely guided um, action to test the relationship, to test your commitment, is what I'm getting right now. Um, so he is going to take the leap um, of faith forward. He's still manifesting this. He knows it's also something you're manifesting. And justice. He wants justice in the situation. He wants the sun. He wants um, the happy ending. This is the best card in the deck. So he has the sun on his side. Ten of cups, the ten of um, coins. I mean, almost all these cards were major or commons. Half of a million. communication with the eight of wands. He chose his path. He chose you. He went into hermit stage to make this decision to follow the light and he knows that you are his light. He knows it's a uh, divine like guided path. He wants a death to be old. He wants to end the fighting. Charging in with his knight of cups again. And again to bring the sun to the Two of Pentacles wants equal balance. Alright, so that's what I have for the collector. Let me give you some advice cards. For today, we're going to use the angels. Alright. Wait for the, the other um, zodiac sign. Readings will be done uh, this afternoon after the back of Would you like to talk to the divine feminine and the masculine? Okay, feminine is goddess of psychic protection. What you believe, you create. No one can harm you. and the angels for help and guidance. God of the arts, the artist within you is about to emerge. So use your creativity. Um, walk is always, always um, it always comes forward with a message to walk in nature, to grow and appreciate what um, Mother Earth give thanks for the blessings that we have with Mother Earth, Father Sky. And then these angels on the bottom is Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. We have the divine timing, Oops. divine masculine. I steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with 
conviction. This is for the feminines. The goddess of sanctuary, no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. So true. That's why you have to love yourself, nurture yourself. It's not selfish to give self-love. Um, it is very healing so that you, can, you can't love others if you don't love yourself. And you can't expect others to love and appreciate you if you don't love and nurture yourself. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Yes, we are the change. Feminines. Everything we touch changes. Everything that changes around us. We change others. When they walk in our energy, we give off the higher vibration for healing. I have, I love every inch of my body, and I love the woman in my life fiercely. That's amazing. That some of the, uh, this one is the masculine's card. So they're doing the work as well that they love themselves. My ego is in service of my soul. I trust my soul's divine timing. And didn't we get this one? It's so much like one of the other ones. Oh, the bottom of the card. I'm losing it. Okay. The mother of believers, I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. And this is again for the masculines, and he wants to provide for his feminine as well. Alright, so I'm going to leave you with this. Um, it looks like a pretty good, even though the beginning for the feminine, the beginning of the week looks a little, uh, today and tomorrow maybe, a little uh, heartache. But focus on you, heal yourself, um, you know, go for a manicure, pedicure, something to do, self-love and forgive moving forward. And the masculines are going to do everything they can to make this right. Um, so trust that uh, by the end of the week or in a few days it should come get a little easier to move forward. Sorry for this uh, stuff. Hope it helps you through your week. Namaste.